So that's where we've come from so far. I want to use one of these as our launch pad into the next little bit, which is actually going to be the last set of plane shapes we're going to look at. It's the last set of shapes we need to go and do this outdoor thing that I'm planning. Okay. So, I want you to have a look at these shapes first. Don't call out the answer just yet. I want you to uh, think about the question I posed to you. Okay. So I want you to look at these shapes. I want you to suppose that I tell you I've got a shape in my head and the shape that I've got in mind has two pairs of equal sides. I said, you guys are the worst at following instructions ever. Okay? So I'm going to ask you, okay, ask nice firstly. This time I'm not going to ask nicely. Shut up and wait. You don't listen when I ask politely, you get the kid gloves come off. Okay, so let me pedal back a little bit, right? I've got a shape in mind. You might want to jot this down. I have two pairs of equal sides. Okay, two pairs of equal sides, right? So, then the question comes, what shape is in my mind? Now, it could be actually more than one shape, right? So, some answer to get called out might be right, but this is all I'm thinking of. Not, no more details than that, okay? Any takers? Yeah. Uh, could be a rectangle or a triangle. Okay, it could be a rectangle. Let's think about this. How does it work? Two pairs of equal sides. Which sides are they? Top. Right? The, the top and bottom, they're equal. And then the left and right sides are equal. Tick. Okay. Triangle, we might have a little trouble because it doesn't have two pairs of sides, so I'm going to be stuck there, okay? Yeah. The one in the triangle. Who remembers what it's called? The nice triangle. Alright, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Parallelogram. Parallelogram. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, so let's have a look at option two. Option two. Yeah. Also, oh no, and in exactly the same way as the rectangle, right? Look, top and bottom. And then these sides here. Okay, now, I'm not just content enough to give you a diagram. I'm going to show you, right? Because um, these diagrams here, they're kind of static, yeah? So, so you'll have to wait. Let's get two pairs of equal sides. Right now, I haven't quite tested this, so hopefully it'll work out and the, this isn't too heavy, okay? I have, um, I have two pairs of equal sides here, okay? And the point is that I can, you can put them however you like, wherever you like, okay? So if I put one, say, here. There we go, there we go, something like that. If I put another one down here. Okay, so I have two pairs of equal sides, right? Now I have... Another pair of equal sides, but you'll notice I've coloured them, and you can probably see that they're, they are not the same length, right? So they're not equal to the original pair, but they're equal to each other. You content with that? Alright, so I'll try and put this one on nice and firmly. If I put that one there, stay. I contemplated doing this on the floor, but then I was like, that's going to be hard to see. Alright, I'll put this one over here. Push it on nice and firm. Stay. Okay, we'll try, we'll try this one again. I'll adjust this a little bit. Is that going to work? Uh, roughly. Uh, this one needs to... Well, actually, um, if, the, um, if the, people, the good people in the woodwork shop can be trusted, it should be to scale, I think. So this will have to do. Okay, and I'll push it on a bit firmer than I did before. Happy? Yeah, it's good. That looks alright, doesn't it? Okay, so this is really cool because you can see... Look, you've got this shape. Well, I've leaned it the other way, okay? But you can see how I could go from this shape to this shape. What would I do to it? How could I adjust it? Anyone want to have a go? Could you? Do you, like, from the right side to that corner thing, you just roll line down and then it makes a triangle? Cool, okay, so let's do this, right? This is the whole reason why I got all this cut out, right? Um, if I, I think what we were saying was we wanted a right angle. Okay, so I'm going to take this chop some piece off again, okay? And if I just take these two sides, they're still equal, yeah? And I just rotate them down, like so. Ah. How's that? Does that look right angled to you? Yeah. Yes. Yes. There you go. Oh, this should be a bit higher, shouldn't it? There you go. So all I've done is I've adjusted it a little bit, right? And if we put back this guy again, <laughs> have to be careful with him, okay? Now have a look at what we've got. Does it fit? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Okay. Question. Is this shape a parallelogram? Isn't this interesting? Okay, so let's consider what makes a parallelogram 
a parallelogram. It's even in the name. Parallel sides. It means you've got parallel sides, right? Are these two sides parallel? Yes. They are. They are. are these yes, two parallel? They are. Yes, they are. This is a parallelogram. It's a special parallelogram. If you just put one right angle, or one right angle in a parallelogram, you'll get a rectangle. Okay, so far so good? Wait, if you said if you put one right angle in a parallelogram, it becomes a square rectangle. Yes. So if I put no right angles in that, it's just... You'll come back to this. Why is that one? Are they It'll be off at an angle. Are they still... Oh, but they're not exactly... Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, yep. All right, so so far so good, but come back to this, right? Two pairs of equal sides. So we've settled on the fact that basically we're looking at a, a parallelogram and it might be a rectangle, but the whole point is that rectangles are just special parallelograms, okay? There's another option, there's another option. This is what happens when your two pairs of equal sides are, where are they in relation to each other? Well, this one is opposite to this one, right? Top and bottom? These two are opposite, left and right. I'll just I'll just wait till everyone's ready. Top and bottom, left and right. So that's opposite, right? Opposite. But where else? Where else could I arrange these two pairs of equal sides? They might not be opposite, they might be, I'll write it down, they might be adjacent, right? Okay, so what would this look like? Get your pen out before I get to it. What would it look like if, again, you had the same two pairs of equal sides, but you didn't make them opposite to each other, you placed them beside each other. You draw it, go ahead, draw it, and see what you get. If you've got two pairs of equal sides, and you place them opposite to each other, then you get... Listen people, if you place them opposite to each other, you get a parallelogram. And if you place them adjacent to each other, then lo and behold, you get a kite. Okay? Okay? Now the reason why I put mine sideways is because I know that what I want to do next won't fit long ways. Okay? You remember? Oh no, it's okay. Um, you remember I said two pairs of equal signs. Okay? Well, we've got one more shape to look at after the kite which is what happens if you make the two pairs, right? If you make them rather than two pairs that are different, what if you make two pairs that are same. the same, okay? So if we ditch these two, right? The pairs that are different, there we go. And if we replace them with another pair that's equal, but equal to the original, right, okay. You can have a look, you don't get a choice, right? No matter how you place the sides, if you're going to use these lengths and have them all equal to each other, then lo and behold, what you get is, well, you might call it a diamond, but the proper name is a rhombus, okay? So you have two pairs of equal sides, depending on which way you go, you'll get one of these or one of these, right? If you take your kite where they're adjacent, or you take your parallelogram where they're opposite, no matter which way you go, Okay, if you make both pairs equal, you'll get a, uh-oh, a rhombus. Okay, there you go. I've just fit it. 